Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the Hardcore Mode Flat World Challenge. And, and the goal is to get 20 or er, 80 gold ingots and craft 20 gold blocks to make a Menger sponge, which is essentially a cube with the holes in the middle. And look at that line of zombies, that is interesting. Well, the new mob AI is kind of funny when they go after those uh, villagers. There's a lot of activity going on in here, but I'm going to do a time lapse of me getting uh, some more cobblestone and then going off to find the next NPC village. Here is another village really close by to the previous one. It's got two churches, so uh, I'm hoping there's a blacksmith. I wonder if there's some kind of, uh, depending on how many repeats of large buildings, whether or not that reduces the chance of there being a blacksmith. I hope not. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going in this direction until I find enough uh, obsidian to make another portal. Then I'm going to go through the nether portal and make my way back through the nether to my uh, flat world headquarters. Because the nether is considerably smaller than the overworld. So that means it'll take quite a bit less time to get back to the flat world HQ. Come on. Get this piece of wool here so that I can uh, make a bed. I don't know what happened to my old one. But there doesn't appear to be a blacksmith. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back off looking for another uh, NPC village. But I think uh, my solution to avoid uh, time lapses I've just had during... The previous time lapse, and you may actually even see uh, no time lapse at all. This video, depending on how I uh, work on the editing process, is that uh, I'll only be showing a time lapse if I die during the process of uh, that time lapse. Otherwise, I just uh, will cut out that part, and will I'll the next you'll see me will be immediately at the next NPC village. All right, so there's two, another two dual in, NPC villages here, only about, I would say, a minute away from the previous one, so I'm going to go in this direction first, and it might be difficult to find my way back, so I'll leave a trail of torches. Uh, yeah, I don't think this was, no, this was definitely not the previous NPC village. There's a, there's a cluster of villages in this uh, region that I'm at. And I do see a blacksmith. So hopefully my luck will turn around here. As I have not found any gold ingots in the last couple of videos. Which is making me seriously want to go back to the nether. Because that was certainly much quicker than this. Ooh, but I just found three gold ingots. That is ridiculous. And enough, more than enough, obsidian to make another portal. But I'm going to check out that last NPC village before I make a uh, nether portal again. Also make sure there's no other blacksmiths here. There's some zombies up to some ruckus thing. Hey. That is not civil. You're uncivil. 
Alright, so we're going to go back to that other NPC village there. And then probably make another portal. And... So that's 26 gold ingots. I'm a little bit over 25% uh, of the way finished. I don't know... After this, uh, this series of the uh, Flat World Hardcore Mode Challenge, I don't know if I want to try any other challenges. I don't know what kind of challenges I could do specific to uh, the Flat World. Not that I want to uh, restrict any kind of uh, challenge videos I do to the Flat World generation, or even necessarily to the Hardcore Mode. Although, the hard card mode is what makes any kind of challenge to these videos interesting. So there's a blacksmith. I don't know, if you guys have any suggestions for challenges to do after this, I'm all uh, glad to hear it. I'd be glad to hear it. But, uh, otherwise, I think I'm not going to uh, help more gold. See, it was worth coming over here to check. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing any other kind of videos other than my regular... Uh, what are you guys up to? There is... There's something going on there. There's a drug deal going down, I think, or a, or a house party. House party, uh... Four. The, uh... NPC version. But, uh... What what was I doing? Okay, I'm gonna make a nether portal. That's what I'm doing. And we'll go ahead and make it here. Stupid slime. There we go. Let's go through here. Oh boy, that's kind of dangerous. Uh, dang it, okay, so I'm sorry, I have to go back in. I need to orient myself so that I know which direction to travel through the nether. So, what in the world? No, no. This is horrible. This is the worst possible time to have this glitch happen. Wait, wait, wait. There's an NPC village, though. I want to check that out. At least it wasn't a com it's not a complete loss. Although I am now completely lost. If I can't find my way back in the nether to uh, the Flat World HQ, I'm kind of screwed. Well, not really. I have all my gold, so it's not like I have to start over collecting gold, but... Anything that I left behind in the Flat World HQ is is all gone. I'll switch this stuff out for some better conditioned stuff. Except, wasn't that enchanted? Yeah, that was enchanted. I want to keep wearing that. It won't last me too much longer, so I'll go ahead and keep the other stuff. Uh, oh, well here we go. That's peculiar. So wait, was was that another... What? Okay, I'm like really confused now. Okay. So I've already explored, uh, searched that. <sighs> really confusing. But I want to go through the, this nether portal in this direction. So the direction I want to travel through the nether is straight that way. And I'll leave this here to indicate that. And I'm going to go ahead and start traveling that way. Well, wow, this... I'm not sure if this will come out after uh, I render this video, but uh, 
the fog in the nether, the red fog is uh, flashing. It's very distracting. So I'm just going to go in this direction. And I suppose I'll time lapse that. It's going to be quite some distance to uh, get back, I believe. Okay, so I've made it pretty far in the nether. I've got about 440, 540 blocks or meters left to travel into the nether in that direction. And uh, I'm going to periodically, on my way back, take breaks and uh, kill uh, zombie pigmen. Now, this is not a very good spot for killing them, even though it's, it's an, a large uh, surface area to, for which zombie pigmen to spawn. There's also a large opening where ghasts can attack me. But nevertheless, I'm going to kill a few of them here. And I got a few gold nuggets out of that. And I was just looking at my experience, and I was wondering why it is that my experience is uh, lower. Or not lower, but, uh, I don't know. I imagine it would be much higher, because I was killing those zombie pigmen. Oh, okay, I remember now. I made some enchantments before I left Flat World HQ. That just had me a little bit puzzled there for a minute. And I certainly get much more uh, experience. Or I should have much more than that if I hadn't enchanted anything. But I probably spent about 40 levels, I think, on enchantments. I'm not sure. 40 seems a little bit high, but... Alright, there is... Ten gold nuggets. However, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a comment below. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.